All right, final example four. Converting percents to fractions. This is probably the trickiest, I'd say the most work anyway. Your calculator will only get you so far that with these, you might have to do a little work by hand. I know that's very upsetting to some of you, but it is what it is. So 48%, to convert a percentage to a fraction, all you do is take that percentage and put it over 100. So this is gonna be, oh, I didn't want to do that in black. Hold on. No different than in the classroom when I start using the wrong color. So I, went, I just took go 48 over 100. And then all I'm doing from there is you gotta simplify. I know you're gonna be upset about this, but you gotta simplify the fraction. So 48 and 100, I'm trying to find the largest number that goes into both. That's four in this case, divide by four, and it is 12 25ths. I look at that, that cannot be simplified. So I've got my answer, 12 25ths. Now, let's say four didn't pop into your head, you divide it by two and you got 24 50ths. Just divide by two again, you still have 12 25ths. So let's look at 30%, I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna put it over 100, so 30 over 100. Um, I could divide by 10, divide by 10, and I end up with 3 tenths, 30%. 3 tenths. So what about 0.6%? So this is where it gets a little tricky. Because if I put this over 100, I got 0.6 over 100. Our problem here is I've got a decimal in a fraction. I don't want that. That's not easy to work with. So what we got to end up doing is we got to make that 6 a whole number. To do that, I move the decimal one place to the right, and it's a 6 now. But if I do that on the numerator, I also have to do it in the denominator. So I gotta move the decimal one place to the right here, and now this is six over a thousand, and I gotta simplify that. So I look at six and a thousand, I know two goes into both. Divide by two, oops, two, sorry. I get a three over 500, and then does three go into 500? If you're not sure, you've got a calculator. Do 500 divided by three, you do it, you, get, you don't get a whole number, so therefore this cannot be simplified. Three. 500 is our answer. So let's look at the next one, 12.5%. This is kind of the same idea as the 0.6%. I take that 12.5 and I put it over 100 and I got the same problem where I have a decimal in the um, fraction. I gotta move it over one. So move it over one, I have to do that in the denominator as well. So this becomes 125 over 1,000. And I look at that, um, let's see. I mean, I know five goes into both. Uh, 25 definitely goes into both. So I can divide both by 25, and I do that. I know 125 divided by 25 would be five. 1,000 divided by 25 is 40. I got five over 40. That's not simplified. I can look at that now. Oh, five goes into both of those. So divide both by five, and I've got one eighth. So 12.5% is one eighth. You take an eight question quiz, you get one right, you're gonna get 12.5%. So finally, our last one, 140%. So we do this one, we take the 140, we put it over 100. Same thing every single time, you'll get every single time, we put it over 100. And then we go from there. And this one, we can see the uh, numerator is larger than the denominator, but that makes sense because it was over 100%, the percentage we were dealing with. So again, we're just gonna simplify this um, I look at these, I know 20 goes into both. That's gonna be seven over five. That can't be simplified. You can leave the fraction improper. You do not have to make it a mixed number. I know last year in sixth grade we did, but typically with this stuff, you can just leave it improper. So seven fifths is an acceptable answer. All right, so that was example four. You've seen all four examples now, um, so. Good luck with your homework. Thanks.